Hello, beautiful souls. Many of you have been asking me if I can channel some messages from spirit to support us in these very challenging times during this pandemic. So I'm going to be doing a series of channeled messages that will help us all to um, tap into what is in, in the beyond so that we can recenter ourselves and root ourselves back into back in such a way that we can be of support to the evolution of the planet as we go through something that feels very scary and uncertain but nonetheless is also here to teach us for us to learn from so I'll start with a recent channeling that I did for a client who is in my private membership group. And I'm gonna read you her question and I have transcribed the channeling that I did in that group so that you can hear the message that was brought forward as a response to her question. So her question was this, she asked to hear specifically from Jesus and she asked these questions. Is this the end times? Or is this a new beginning? And what is the best way to put things into perspective? And this was what I channeled from the perspective of the essential energy of Jesus as a response. Feel the softness around you. It is my presence surrounding you. The time that is dangerous for those with human minds right now stems from the willingness to engage in ingestion and consumption of information that is not only inaccurate, but has at its core ill will. From just a few, to be sure, but just a few is actually many when you look closely at the numbers. It is the chaotic and confusing misinformation that carries the farthest and widest on the waves. Please take this to heart to verify and question everything that is being disseminated, everything. This is not the time to solely rely on what you believe to be information, your own understanding, or even those who you believe were taught by the ascended ones and masters. It is the time for miracles. You are a miracle and have the ability to unfold miracles. Miracles at their core are from love. Look right up face to face with that which seems impossible, frightening, and insurmountable, and go ahead anyways. Bring yourself in service to the greater good, to the littlest and grandest of things, of beings. You are bringing me in for counsel because I showed just that. I lived that. I continue to exude that from whatever sphere or arena I happen to be offering the greatest of my own energy. Be that. Be me. Be you. Be love. Bring that. It is time for withinness. And it is time to conceive of that which you all have been quite literally dying for, which is a new earth that holds the frequency of love and therefore non-pollution and therefore clarity, divinity, interconnectedness, even in the face of forced physical disconnection before you travel yet again down the road and path of fear that others have done the kindness of paving for you. Stop and retreat within and remember that nothing is true anymore and everything is true all at once. 
You must suspend what you have been told and what you have read, even the good stuff that brings you peace. You cannot know just yet. There is plenty of time to explore that when the time is proper. Your only concern now is your journey of love and service. So as you listen to that and let it land wherever it lands for you, just allow for your body, your heart, your spirit, your soul to feel into the words, the guidance, the imagery, and where we're being, how we're being directed here. Bring it into a deeper level, make it your own, in your own way, with your own understanding, and question everything that you are being taught or told. We're in a different time and it requires a different approach. But the approach that will always bring us back to truth and clarity is love.